All right, this lesson is going to be on how to do some kind of like long division. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a one digit number into a four digit number. Okay, and I'm going to show us a couple of different ways to go about that. Okay, um, let's go ahead and we'll choose, let's go with four goes into 486. Uh, 4,860, let's pick one more number, let's go with a 2. Alright, oh, in fact I want to change that, let's go ahead and put a 9 there so it's not so easy. Alright, uh, so what the, one of the things that we're going to be doing here is we got to make sure is I have 4 numbers here, which means I'm going to be subtracting 4 times. Alright, so 4 goes into 4 one time, remember we're multi we are multiplying from here to here to get our answer. So that's a 4. Okay, that looks like it's taken care of right there. We're going to go ahead and bring down the next number, which is the 9. 4 goes into 9. I know it goes in there 2 whole times. 4 times 2 gives me an 8. 1 is less than 4, which shows me I'm doing a pretty good job. And I'm going to go ahead and bring down the 16. 4 goes into 16 four times, okay? So four times four gives me 16. I've got a zero. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bring down the two. Now here's where students run into a problem, okay? They just put a remainder of two up here sometimes. That's not a remainder, we still have to keep working. So how many times does four go into two? Well, it doesn't go into two, so we have to make sure four goes into two zero times. So four times zero is zero. Okay, and now I have a remainder of two, and I'll be talking about that remainder in just a second. Now I notice I have one, two, three, four, and I subtracted one, two, three, four times. Okay, we want to subtract once for each number, even though we may be subtracting a zero. And once we get better, we can maybe skip a couple of steps, but for now, you don't want to do that. All right? Okay, now, here's one other thing I would like to address, too, because I saw some of my students doing it. They see that remainder of 2, and they jump to the conclusion, oh, that is a decimal, and they, they think of the remainder of, my remainder of 2, they think of it as, as 2. And what they fail to realize and they forget is 0.2 equals 2 out of 10. But this is a 4, that's not a 10. So remainder of 2 really means 2 out of 4, not a 0.2. So if we want to go ahead and continue to uh, our, our, our division problem and make a decimal out of it instead of having a remainder with the whole number, I can go ahead and just put a decimal point in a zero. So I can go ahead and bring that zero down. Now four goes into twenty five times. Four times five is twenty. And notice now I have one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to I subtracted one, two, three, four, five times because I added that decimal there. Twenty minus twenty is zero, and then I am completely done. And hopefully students will make that leap that, oh, I see, two-fourths is the same, that e that's equivalent to one-half, and I know that one-half equals 0.5. So hopefully they'll make that leap right there. Okay? We just have to remember that um, a fraction is just a division problem, another way of doing a division problem. Okay? All right, that is one way to do it. Uh, all right, I'm going to show us now a different way to do it. I changed my problem up. Uh, this time I'll see how many times does 6 go into 1,344, okay? This is more like an uh, almost like expanded notation here, okay? So 6 I know does not go into 1, but I know 6 goes into 13. I'm going to go ahead and put it out here 2 times. 6 times 2 equals 12. But notice, what's that place value? The hundreds place. So that's not really a 2, it's 200. So 6 times 200 equals 
1,200. I'm going to go ahead and subtract. That's a 1, that's a 4, that's a 4. Okay. Now I'm going to let the 6 go into 1. It doesn't go in there, so that's okay. And even if I made a mistake and that a 6 could go into that, say it was a 7 or something, I could just put a 1 out there and continue. So 6 goes into 14. Six, 6 goes into 4. It doesn't go into 1. It goes into 14. I know it goes in there two times, and that is in the tens place. So I'm going to go ahead and put a 0. So 6 times two, 20 is... 6 times 2 is 12, add the 0, go ahead and subtract, and I'm down here to 24. And now all I need to do is see how many times does 6 go into 24. I know 6 goes into 24 four times in the ones place. 6 times 24, all right, so we have 6 goes into 24 four times. So uh, 6 times 4 is 24, 0, and then I just add this side up. 224, and if there's a number here that's smaller than 6, that would be my remainder. But in this case, um, I knew that there would not be a remainder. So there's my answer. My answer, 6 goes into 1,344, 224 times.